Today we'll read Bringing the Rain to Capiti Plain by Verna Ardema with pictures by Beatrice Fidel. This is the great Capiti Plain, all fresh and green from the African rains, a sea of grass for the ground birds to nest in, and patches of shade for the wild creatures to rest in, with acacia trees for giraffes to browse on, and grass for the herdsmen to pasture their cows on. But one year the rains were so very belated that all the big wild creatures migrated. Then Capat helped to end that terrible drought, and this story tells how it all came about. This is the cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Capiti Plain. This is the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Capiti Plain. These are the cows, all hungry and dry, who mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Capiti Plain. This is Capat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Capat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Capiti Plain. This is the eagle who dropped a feather, a feather that helped to change the weather. It fell near Capat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Capat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Capiti Plain. This is the arrow Capat put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped change the weather. It fell near Capat who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Capat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead the big black cloud all heavy with rain that shadowed the ground on Capiti Plain this is the bow so long and strong and strung with a string a leather thong a bow for the arrow Capat put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather from the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped change the weather. It fell near Capat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Capat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass, all brown and dead, that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Capiti Plain. This was the shot that pierced the cloud and loosed the rain with thunder loud. A shot from the bow so long and strong and strung with a string, a leather thong. A bow for the arrow Capat put together with a slender stick and an eagle feather. From the eagle who happened to drop a feather, a feather that helped change the weather. It fell near Capat, who watched his herd as he stood on one leg like a big stork bird. Capat, whose cows were so hungry and dry, they mooed for the rain to fall from the sky, to green up the grass all brown and dead that needed the rain from the cloud overhead. The big black cloud, all heavy with rain, that shadowed the ground on Capiti Plain. So the grass grew green, and the cattle fat, and Capat got a wife and a little Capat. 
Who tends the cows now and shoots down the rain when black cloud shadow Capiti plain?